hello hello welcome back to the channel it's Monday what is it Monday the 15th 16th 16th of October and over the weekend we just had picture page so here in Melbourne we pretty much have like two major ones I know there is a third craft alive um, but that's not anywhere sort of near me so I've never actually been to one of those um, but we pretty much have two big craft shows one is paperific which is once a year in October <laughs> and we have picture to page which sort of goes to different areas it goes to Pacman which is about 45 minutes away from me Sandown which is super close Bendigo um, I think there was a Werribee, but I think it got, it got, it didn't happen. And anyway, anywho, the picture to page one was just the weekend and I worked uh, two days. I didn't actually get a lot of time to look around. There was a lot of talking, but not a lot of looking. So a small little craft hole, sort of basically over the two days, but a small little craft hole. Yes, I've got some pencils there. So. First things first, where I actually work, um, this is a woodware collection. This is for obviously little gnomes because they're super in at the moment. Everyone's looking for gnomes. This one I'm assuming called, I oh know, Fun Time Gnome. I thought it might have been called like Be Merry or something like that. I just thought he was really gorgeous. I just thought he might be really fun and I've got a couple ideas but they're a little bit like I'm wondering whether I can gold emboss that mask him out I don't know I'm have, I'm thinking I'm, I'm just I want to gold emboss this and sort of glitterify it up because the boss has been glitter glittering all day, all um weekend so now it's glitter is in my mind some people don't like glitter but you know I don't use it very often and then just color him I don't know we'll see what happens I don't know the other thing I thought because my son is turning 17 I did make him a card um, but I saw this because he's been very big into guitar and practicing his guitar and learning guitar that I, I just thought that so we'll see you may not see that but you may see the end result so the, the next one is from Trish from Hobby Hoppiers. These are purchases over two days because, you know, I can't help myself. I'm hopeless. So she had a card there with this window. This one is just called Window Frame by Lawn Form. And I need to double check that I don't have it because the problem is I've seen so many Trish's um, stamps and everything else that now I'm confused on what I've seen and what I haven't seen so then they had this one there was lots of other um, scenes she had another springtime one with Easter eggs and leaves I thought this was very even though it's supposed to be like snowy yeah winter scene I could put leaves on that that wouldn't be a problem so that was my thought and then with the window I thought that was really cool another little Christmassy one I mean even though we've got the fireplace you know going on here sort of thing I I, I just really liked it I was still um, it's not a lot of snow because we don't have snow at Christmas time here I just thought that was I could do with that this one was just super stinking cute um just with oh hang on what's that one called that one's called christmas dreams this one's called wild wolves um with the moon and howling lots of little howlings and the like, like little lines like where they're wagging their tails i'm glad you're in my pack it's your day enjoy it for the fullest yeah i just i thought it was really cool the next one is from J craft i sort of pretty much have like three shops it's not exclusive but three shops 
or three stores are my go-to at paperific so hobby hoppers is one this and the next two that you'll be able to see so the next one is from jcraft because i know they're going to be watching me i i didn't buy an awful lot i didn't buy an awful lot full stop you know but i didn't buy an awful lot anywhere um so sorry sorry girls i didn't buy they're lovely girls i didn't buy an awful lot but anyway i digress let's get off that this one is the julie hickey now i saw someone else with this but she had um what was it little i can't remember if it was chris i'm assuming it was christmas little scenes and everything else but i thought <clears throat> some sentiments that i actually have let's have a look so i thought some sentiments um for die cutting and foiling and everything else so these are foilable packs so especially with I have a lot of men in my life well we all have a lot of men in life but you know I've got three sons um, I thought this might be a really easy quick card for lots of birthdays lots of anniversaries for the guys and just you know like I'm wondering whether like foil them all up and then seal them up and put them in a like a little Ziploc bag or something. I'm assuming in the Ziploc bag that would be nice and handy and keep, and keep like keep well, not get scratched up or anything like that. So thank you, loves, wishing wells, lots of little banners. Enjoy every minute. I just, it's not something I've done, dealt with before. So I thought that would be really just fun, just fun. Okay, next one is a little of. So, yeah, I think they've, it looks like they've thought of everything, put it that way. This was the next one, so I'm probably going to kill the name Alex Siberia. Hopefully that's good. This was a combo deal. I just, I, I liked, I liked the idea. So, let's, see, let's cut this. I like just plain. So this has got the stencil, so a bit of a coordinating stencil to colour up all the the flowers. So you've got the A2 stencil, there's three stencils obviously. You've got a couple of different sentiments that you could put with it, as well as the sentiments that are on the stencil. So this is called Life is Good. And so you can stencil it out and then line it up and stamp over the top of it so that might take a little bit of practice i don't know we'll have a look at and see about that one because you know sometimes stencils lining up stencils and then lining up the coordinating for me maybe it's just me sometimes i find it a little bit difficult but and i love that it's got the where's it? It's got coordinating die for life is good. Um, you're in a special way it looks like. And I'm assuming those are the two for a special human. I know, I really loved it. I thought it was really, really pretty. So we're going to give that a try. The next one was is from Peninsula Crafts. Unfortunately, I didn't get much time. So I only bought one thing, which is pretty cool. Let's zoom in a little bit because it's lovely. Oh, hang on, let me bring that step. Let me bring this in so you can see it a bit better. So that's the Alex Siberia stencil and the stamp, the Be Happy. It's really pretty. Look at this. So, this, maybe I'll just open it. Can I, no, I have to cut it. This, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it's so stinking cute. She had some little, um, that's enough. We don't need all of it. So we've got some candy canes. She had a little card that had these, um, I want to say peppermint swirl things. 
I don't know the name of it, but we've got lots of little colors of those and little itty bitty ones. You see those there. Candy canes, we've got the, he's a little bit crooked, but you know, we've got, can I bend it or will I break it? Oh, I can bend it. So you can bend it a little bit. There you go. Ah, ooh. Candy canes. So a rainbow candy cane and the red candy, candy cane. Um, is there any different? Nope. And then, let's see if I can pick it up. I don't know. If I bring it close, it won't, it won't um, focus. It won't focus. But little tiny gingerbread. And that looks like two different sizes. So little tiny gingerbread. How stinking cute. So this one was about $18. But you do get a lot in it. So, And this is from Chloe's Creative Candy Cane Lane Embellishment. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But I, I just really loved it. And I like supporting um, local. And the girls are lovely. Jaycraft's lovely. Hobby Hoppers is lovely. And the Peninsula Girls. So sorry girls I didn't get around to buying more. But they're not too far away from me. So let's go these ones. These are called Everlasting Pens. Pencils. So we need a... These actually have a fair bit of weight. So you can see I bought two. Um, there was black, purple and pink. I'm not really a, a colour person, so I went with black. But these are pencils. So the lady, her name was Susie. Um, I think the shop is actually Live, Love and Craft. And they were just a little couple of doors down from us. And she said that she had the had everlasting pencils and I mean at, at some point they do need this changed she said but but saying that she's been using hers for two years how they all work I don't know she said something about metal um they're not super dark but you don't always want that, especially when crafting. Like it's hard for me. I don't know. Maybe you can see it better. But it's hard for me to see that properly in through the camera. But at the same point, when you're crafting, you just want a little line or like I quite often cut things. I eyeball it, draw a little line and, and cut things for my rectangles and things like that. Um, you don't want it super dark. So, you know. I just think, I just thought they were really, really cool. Um, and I thought I'd give it a try and see what happens. So I can see that perfectly fine. So it has a lid. She said to drop it, because I asked her specifically, she said dropping it sort of thing. Um, I'm not going to drop it because it's tempting fate. But she says it's not going to break. The You know, like... Prismacolors and poly polychromos, they're soft sort of things. So if you drop them, the lead inside or the, is it wax? The wax inside. It's Monday morning and I've worked the, I've worked the weekend. Well, I worked Friday and Saturday. And then we pulled down the stall and moved and packed it all away and everything else. So I'm a little bit brain dead. But the wax inside polychromos and um, prismas, definitely prismas, if you drop them, they will break. I asked her that question and she said, no, these are going to be fine. She did drop one of them and she did double check. I think, you know, because she's selling me the product, she wants to make sure that she, you know, it's all right. But they're super cool. The last place I went back to twice. These, I have to zoom out again, sorry. These are for bowls. So I got one for my mother-in-law, a bit of a thread. Get off. So these are bowls. I should have grabbed a bowl. Anyway, I don't have a bowl here. But put that in, put the bowl in your, this little doobie. See, it's like a little hat. <laughs> and, you know, you pick it up, 
put it in the microwave and then it does its thing and then you just pick it up. So I usually use a tea towel and you know even then sometimes it gets a bit hot and then making sure that you've got the tea towel all around it and then you're sealing the tea towel to you know and then it, one of the boys gets out another tea towel and it spirals out of control. So I saw these last time and I went, do I want one? I'm not big on single use things. I'm not saying I don't have them at all. I just try and avoid single use things, but I did buy one. And then I've gone back to buy two more. One for my mother-in-law and one another one for me or maybe a sister-in-law. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But I used it Friday night, put it in the microwave, and then it came out here to eat because, you know, I was crafting. And it was awesome. So I can't actually tell you I didn't grab a, a card from her. Um... They're lovely, again, they're lovely people. Sid, the husband, is a bit of a, a scream. Well, they're both lovely, but he's a bit of a scream. He's sort of like, he's the sort of guy that, you know, is quite happy for you to playfully tease him and he will playfully give it back to you. So, you know. And the obligatory, because they also had lollies. I'm a bit partial to strawberries and cream. I'm not supposed to eat them. I'm not insulin but resistant or anything like that, but um, I have had stomach issues. But one every now and then is fine. You've got to live life, okay? So, you know. So that's it. That is my haul. I am going to have lots of fun playing and I will hopefully show you very shortly I haven't had a lot of time for crafting because we've had a lot of things happening with the house you know I mentioned that in um, Saturday's video that we've had water in the garage and everything else but you know what can you do craft that's what you can do all right that's it for me I hope you're well I hope you have a fabulous day and I will talk to you very soon bye mate